some peanuts? Peanuts? No. It's a long trip down there. You're allowed to get hungry. Can't you see how I'm trying to commit suicide? That's a very bad habit to get into. I'm only going to do it this once. Must you? Yes. I'm sick of getting into trouble. How? Sticking my nose in other people's business. Oh, so that's it. Sit down here. Have a bag of peanuts. They're in the house. So what happens? It's a long story. Go ahead, I got a lot of peanuts. I was a young fella. She was a farmer's daughter. I heard that one before. Wait, you don't understand. For 20 years, we planned on getting married. Then all of a sudden, that's too bad. What do you mean, too bad? I struck oil. Oh, you mean, that's right. A couple of days ago, we were married. Yesterday, we were driving up here for our honeymoon. You and the farmer's daughter? Me and the most beautiful girl in the world. Only 15 more miles and we'll be there. We've waited a long time for this, Emmy. Oh, but you were worth waiting for, Sam. So are you, honey. Okay, break it up. Oh. oh. Sorry, Austin. You see, we're fresh married. Not really. <laughs> you got your driver's license? Somewhere. Here. Here it is. Would you mind driving? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were a guy uh, uh, trying to cop something. I just wanted to borrow your tire pump. And since when do I look like a guy? Well, from where I was standing, I couldn't tell. Does it hurt? Of course it does. Well, maybe I could help. Never mind, never mind. Oh! Excuse me, can I help? No thanks, no thanks. Everything's all right. Now, now, children, that's no way to act. Why don't you throw that club away, neighbor, and kiss and make up? Say, that's not a bad idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She's a little bashful, but we'll be all right, buddy. We understand. Hey! 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 Here, here, let me do that. I'd rather not trouble you. Oh, it's no trouble at all, baby. Give me a chance to improve my score. Your score? Sure, so far it's not so good. One hit, one error. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Ooh! Better? Yes, thanks. How far you gotta go? West Willow, it's about 40 miles from here. I live there. 40 miles? See, that tire's pretty thin. I better follow you in case something happens to me. Oh, you needn't bother. It's no bother at all. I gotta go that way, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls? Where's your wife? <laughs> I haven't any wife. No, and I don't want one. Oh, you don't? Well, maybe someday after I've had my fling, but not when I'm young. No, sir, I can have too much fun on the prowl. On the prowl? Yes. Take our case, for example. If you were married, I was married, we'd both be out of circulation. Who knows, this might turn into a beautiful friendship. You know, they built statues for the guy who wrote the wedding march, but the guy who wrote the line, he who loves and runs away, lives to love another day, had a formula for a lot more fun. I bet you feel the same way about it, don't you? Oh, no, I don't. But I'm glad to know how you feel. Now, you can just take your pump and go. Well, hey, wait a minute. Don't get me wrong, I just meant I'm not the marrying kind. It's nothing to get sore about. You get away from me, you... you wolf! Wolf? Yes, but you picked the wrong Little Red Riding Hood this time. 
You see, I am the marrying kind. Oh. And I'm going to marry while I'm young and have children, oodles of children. Well, go ahead, have a couple of dozen of them. And there'll be no divorce either. It'll be till death do us part. Well, I'm not waiting for death, sister. Goodbye. Happy marriage. Kiss the kitties for me, all 24. I'll thank you to keep my children out of this. She who loves and runs away lives to love another day. <laughs> so I'm a wolf, huh? Married young, have oodles of children, no divorce. Who cares? Kiss the kitties for me. Hey, how much? Ten geese. That's fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? That's five dollars a goose. That's right. Learning to drive, lady? Listen to me, horn blower. I've been driving a car ever since I was twelve years old. I've never had an accident. Hey, look out! Are you hurt? Of course I'm hurt. Where? Never mind. Go away and leave me alone. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it. Oh, so you would leave me in a spot like this. Well, you just said Don't it. tell me what I said. What goes on here? Oh, he ran me off the road. I did not. He Officer, did, too. I was, I was just coming trying down to pass the road. With my... Shh, one at a time. I can't hear you both. Go ahead, miss. What happened? Well, he tried to pick me up. I tried to pick you up? Why, I wouldn't pick you up if I was starving and you were a ham sandwich with mustard. Now, take it easy. You're a little excited. Look, lads, you better drive her into town, and I'll follow along. What? Me drive with that would-be Casanova? I'd rather hitchhike. Well, I guess you can get going. Well, thank you, officer, very much. Hitchhiking's against the law, but I'll get you there. Get on. Oh, thanks. Here you are. See, isn't it pretty bumpy? You shouldn't mind a few bumps at your age. Well, it isn't my age exactly. It's... Oh, well, excuse me. Just a minute. Something wrong with the seat? No, officer, never mind. It's nothing. Just drive right ahead. Hotel. Potter's the name. I'm the manager. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sam Sawyer. From Oklahoma? Yep. Oh, yes. Your reservations are all ready for you. Fine. find everything to your liking. Looks mighty pretty to me. How about you, Emmy? Oh, beautiful. Oh, pardon me. This is Miss... Uh, I mean, Mrs. Sawyer. My mistake. I wouldn't exactly call it a mistake. How do you do? Oh, what dear me. I... <laughs> I... Oh. Uh, I smile. Would you mind registering, please? Sure. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Where do I sign? Oh, right there, please. Is someone shaking the desk? Uh, no, I'm afraid you're a trifle nervous. Now, settle down, Sam, and don't be nervous. I ain't nervous, Emmy. Perhaps you'd better do it. Do you mind? Not at all. You see, we've never stopped at a big hotel before. I understand. Thank you. The bellboys are very busy. 
We have 350 guests. Really? Uh, let me have the key to the bridal suite. Bridal suite? Uh, yes, I'd better take you up myself. Oh, don't trouble yourself. We'll wait. Oh, it's no trouble. <laughs> but we don't want to go up just now. We'd rather just sit down and relax a minute, wouldn't we, Emmy? Well, I thought... Thank you. Comfy here, ain't it? You think so? Welcome to Falls View Hotel. Uh, you register, please. Way, please. Oh, please. The elevators are over here. Bags in the back. I'll have your car here in the morning. Thank you very much. It's exactly 7.15. Welcome to Falls View Hotel. I want a room. Well, the bridal suites are all taken, but I... Bridal suite? No, I just want a room. So do I. Naturally. Show this couple to 4.27. Wait a minute. I said I wanted a room. Yes, I understand. And I'm sure that you'll both like 4.27. Now, look, get this straight. I want a room and she wants a room. That's two rooms. Well, that's rather unusual. What's unusual about it? Oh, no, I'm sure that if you'll take this room and just talk things I over... don't want to talk. And I wouldn't listen if he did. Oh, no, I wouldn't be too hasty. We all have our little troubles. Little troubles? Listen, mister, all I've ever had since I've met this girl is trouble. Give me that key. Come on. Excuse me, please. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, you forgot to register for... Th I can write. Never mind. I'll take care of it. Tom Wilson and wife. Oh, but Sam, I, I... Hey, Usher! But Sam, it's none of your business. No use arguing, Emmy. I just got to do it. Mr. Potter, we decide that young couple will be happier in our bridal suite. But I don't understand. It may be just the thing to bring them together again. And we can take their room. Can't we, Emmy? But I was looking for it. You see? It's all right with Emmy. Well, the customer's always right. Uh, boy. Put that unhappy couple in the bridal suite. Yes, sir. I hope you won't regret your generosity. Give and ye shall receive. That's my motto. Lovely day, wasn't it? No! We're all ready, sir. Go on ahead. It's too crowded for me. Yes, sir. This way, please. You're welcome. Right here, sir. Oh, thanks. Well, this is all right. Here you go. Thank you, sir.
I just had to look the place over. You know how it is. I've been dreaming about these rooms for 20 years. And I pictured how it might have been. Sam's sitting right there. Can't you see him? Well, no, I... You can't? Oh, you mean sitting right there? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Excuse me, Sam. Sam and I reserved these rooms for our honeymoon. Oh. So that's it. But he thought you needed them more than we did. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I'll get my things together and move right out of here. Oh, no, no. Sam wouldn't think of taking them back. Oh, but really, I don't need all this room. I... Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, do you mind if I look in there? Why, no. Go right ahead and make yourself at home. Oh, it's wonderful. Why did I have to give it up? Oh, Sam, isn't it lovely? Oh, what did you say, Sam? Do you really want me to sit in your lap? Well, if you insist. <laughs> Oh, Sam, you're wonderful. Oh, stop, Sam. Stop, you know I'm ticklish. Coochie, coochie, cooch. Oh, stop tickling me, Sam. Oh, just think, Sam. After 20 long years, alone at last. I beg your pardon, lady. Oh, dear, we're not alone. And you're not dressed. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's better. Thank you. Hey! Oh, dear, I'm sorry, Hal. No clothes. Well, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? This is my room. I beg your pardon. This happens to be my room. We'll see about that. You bet we will. Hello? Give me the manager. Give me my negligee. All right, give me my coat. Whose room is this, mine or his? Yes, whose room is this, hers or mine? You don't have to yell in my ear. I'm yelling in the manager's ear. <laughs> please, please, one at a time. What kind of a manager are you? Yes, what kind of a hotel is this? I wanted a room. I wanted another room. Yes, that makes two rooms, remember? Listen, you Oh, Mr. Sawyer, I'm afraid we've made a terrible mistake. The young couple? Oh. Tut, tut. Just let me handle this, Mr. Potter. But you see... Please. I've been settling other people's affairs all my life. Haven't I, Emmy? Yes, but I wouldn't if I were you. See? Just dismiss it from your mind. I ain't never made a mistake yet. Come, Emmy. Uh, uh, Sam! Yes, Emmy? Where did you come from? Harlem, sir. Oh, my mistake. Yes, sir. We'll see who gets thrown out. I'm not in. But... Don't they ever sweep around here? What do you mean by hanging up the phone in my ear? Oh, it wasn't me, madam. It uh, must have been Mr. Potter, the manager. Well, then I want to speak to him. Yes, where is he? Well, Mr. Potter seems to have disappeared. Uh, won't I do? Well, why should I punch you in the nose? Just one question. Is that my room or not? Your room? Uh, oh, yes, of course. All right, then throw him out. Uh, just as you say. You'll throw who out? Oh, uh... I just came on duty. I'm a little confused. Mm -hmm. Well, she isn't out of that room. By the time I've finished eating, you'll get what I've been saving for Potter. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Mr. Potter, what, what was he saving for you, sir? The punch in the nose. Oh. All alone. Pardon me. This way, please. It didn't work, Sam. Maybe we could take our bridal suite back again. Oh, Emmy, you can't be an Indian giver. Besides, we gotta give them... Psst. Yes, sir. He's her husband. Oh, thank you, sir. Don't you think you better eat something before it gets cold? Hi, neighbor. Hi. But aren't you going to sit with the lady? Huh? Say, what is this, a hotel or a Lonely Hearts Club? But I understood that's that... That's the point you don't understand. Thank you very much. I can take care of my own affairs. Well, it's just as much my affairs as it is yours. Oh, now, look, lady. Are we going to start this all over again? I hope not. How do you like that guy? Somebody ought to pack him in a kither. With a bat? Yeah. Can I have a menu, please? That guy boins me up. Well, stop talking and do something. Go over and suck the big fat. I think you got an idea. I don't like your attitude. What is this? They don't treat dames that way where I come from. Well, just where do you come from? Brooklyn. And no cracks. Please, please. Take it easy, Pop. This guy's asking for a poke in the nose. Well, all right. Let's poke noses. Oh, oh no. yeah? Ooh. <laughs> Sam? I'm all right, Amy, just a little dizzy. Now, now, children, this is no way to act. Let's go back and talk it over. You'll never get me back in that room. Now, stunning. Why don't you mind your own business? Uh, didn't you like the bridal suite? No! no! All right, you two. Hey, hey, wait a minute, buddy. You... Why, you love birds will do better in a smaller nest. You're switching rooms with us. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, yes, I do. But we're not... Quiet. The guy's batty. Come on, get moving. Yes, sir. Right around the corner, down the hall. Yes, sir. No back talk now. I'll learn you. Be right back, Amy. Hurry, dear. Should've known you long ago. Come on, dear. He's crazy, all right. Now, why don't you kiss and make up? Kiss? Come on. That's better. I knew all you two needed was a little persuading. See you in the morning. Hello, 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 manager. Hello. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, you're 
you're hiding. I hope. Sam! Well. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Oh, I was just going out to take a look at the falls. The view is much better from the inside. Oh, it is. Thank you very much. Don't tell me Daniel Boone is here again. Yep. And I'm going to stay right outside the door until you two make up. There's only one way to get rid of that guy. That's to make him think we're in love. Now, if... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, now, look, lady, I don't like this any more than you do. Well, you stay away from me. It's our only chance. Well, all right, but you keep your distance. Don't worry, I will. Darling, uh, we've been awfully silly, haven't we? Yes, and it took that sweet, lovely stranger to open our eyes. I'll never leave you again, dear. Not even wild horses could drag me away. I must have been crazy to think I could ever live even a day without my sweet manzy wansy. <laughs> Kiss me again, sweetheart. <laughs> this is wonderful, isn't it, darling? No, you have to do better than that. Why don't you two get together? Uh-uh. More like this. Hey, take it easy. You take it easy. There. That's more like it. Good night. Good night. Well, that's not so bad. Let's try it again. Get away from me! Just as I thought. Now you two get back together again. Might as well stay together permanently, because I'm going to be right out here all night. All night? Well, that's what the man said. Howdy. Howdy. You looking for something? Yes, yes. I, uh, uh, which way are the elevators? Back there. Oh, thank you. in for the night. You bet. Because in my book of rules, two people locked in the same room together all night still have to get married. Sure. What? What's the matter? Hold on. Second thought, this won't do us any good. I, I gotta get out of here. Good luck. Wait, don't jump. I'm not gonna jump. Get back there. Oh, why don't you leave me alone? You're gonna give me more trouble, huh? I'll be right back, Emmy. Oh, but Sam, I... You again? Yep. Get back there. Get going. Why don't you be reasonable, mister? You give up hard, but I give up harder. You're making an awful mistake. Oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. We're not married. Huh. Expect me to believe that? You must think I'm crazy. Oh, no. Oh, not much. Well, then, stop arguing and stay put. Get in there. Back again, huh? Yeah, back again. Well, why didn't you tell Did me... Did you ever try to talk to a crazy man with a gun that's loaded? 
What a spot. A crazy man on the outside and you on the inside. Hmm. to have it start raining. Do you mind if I ask you something very personal? <laughs> Have you ever had any trouble with your feet? <laughs> Did you used to do a lot of walking? <laughs> Honey. Yes, dear. Were you born with feet like that? What's the matter with my feet? Don't you think they're kind of big for a little girl like you? No, why? Well, I was just... Howdy, folks. Howdy. Just passing through. Good night. Night. Good night. Hey! Are you back, Sam? Yes, Amy. And this time for good. understand how anybody can be so stubborn. Don't you think it's about time to forget about them and think about us? Nope. I can be just as stubborn as they can. Oh, but Sam, I... Oh, dear, I... It's... See... I'll outsit him if it takes all night. And he's not kidding. So you might just as well relax. Good night, Emmy. Oh, good night. It's no use. 
guys get insomnia. Good morning. I guess this seems a little odd to hear. I understand. Just a lover's quarrel. Perhaps I can help. Oh, no. Maybe you can. Hey, this way, please. There you are, sir. Thanks, buddy. Anybody home? Oh, hello. Did you forget something? Yes, you. See who I've got here with me? This is Dr. John Foster and Mr. Clark, the witness. Witness? Sure. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I've decided to marry you. Well, of all the nerve, you've decided to marry me. I like that. Well, what's the matter with it? Nothing, except I hardly know you. I've never even told you I liked you, and you haven't even proposed. You mean I gotta marry you and propose to you, too? Well, it is customary. Oh, well, that kind of makes it tougher. I've never done this before. Do I have to do it, Doctor? Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. Darling, darling, Look, how would you like to file your income tax with mine and have a little exemption running around the house? Uh, I mean, uh, if you haven't got anything better to do today, how would you like to change your name to mine? Oh. Uh, what do you say we just get married, huh? No, and no girl would after that proposal. I guess it was pretty bad. Well, it was terrible. Can't blame a fella for trying. Well, so long. So long. Sorry I bothered you, Doctor. Hey, I guess you're right at that. No reason to go away mad, is there? Uh, doctor says to show that there isn't any hard feelings, we ought to kiss each other goodbye. Well, if that's what the doctor ordered, I... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what the doctor ordered. Thomas Wilson, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife. Morning, officer. Good morning. Will you tell Miss Blake her car is here? Well, there's no Miss Blake registered. There's no Miss Anybody registered. They're all Mrs.'s. She's here. Checked in last night. Oh, well, it must be a mistake. No, there's no mistake. I brought her here myself. Blonde hair, blue eyes, about five foot four, and uh, a red sport coat with the... Uh... Big buttons? That's right. Oh, you mean Mrs. Wilson. No, I mean Miss Blake. You mean she isn't married? No, she isn't married. Sure? Certainly, I'm sure. Not married. Front. Front, boys. <coughs> boys, go up to the fourth floor, bridal suite, and throw those imposters out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. August. I hope you'll always be very happy. Oh, thank you, sir. They must be in the bedroom. Boy, you must be some mistake. There is, and you made it. But, but what do you want? Uh, well, is something burning? Yeah, the manager. Here, let me down. Oh, please, please be calm. Be calm? I thought this was a respectable hotel. It is, madam, I assure you. Well, gee whiz, what's my mother going to say when she hears about this? Let me down. Let me down. Oh, turn oh, me loose. Wait, wait, wait. Let wait, me, wait. me down. down. This is the Sawyers. You're darn right it's the Sawyers. What does this mean? Where did you get these people? In the fourth floor bridal suite. But I thought you gave up the bridal suite. We did. But we took it back again. Then that young couple must have left the hotel sometime during the night. See, there's nothing to be upset about after all. Now just relax, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Sawyer. You saved the reputation of the Falls View Hotel. Reputation? Those people weren't married. Not married? Sam, they weren't married. Come along, Winnie. Well, aren't you going to tell him? Don't you realize? I realize you stuck your big nose in once too often. Shh, shh. Two wrongs don't make a right. Tell me, You've please. got to tell him. It's the only honorable thing to do. Tell me what? Well, you see, Never I... mind. I'll tell him. Now, Mr. Potter, when I took back our bridal suite, 
I put that young couple in our room. You what? Then they're still in the hotel? That's right. Mr. Sawyer, your meddling has aided and abetted in the ruination of this hotel. Oh, Sam, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. There they are now. Boys, boys. Young man, you've deceived me. I what? Throw them out. Hey, wait. Yeah. What throw them out. Throw you them out. Throw them out. Hey. Hey, what's the idea? <laughs> Stay out. Hot headed little fella, ain't he? I don't get it. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do too. Excuse me. Well, that's how it happened. It's a bad habit sticking your nose in other people's business. But that's the way I am, and I guess nothing will ever cure me. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I would start minding my own business before it's too late. Too late.